What's up YouTube, it's your boy Ed, aka Big Bang. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I said that I would be a little more um, proactive on YouTube. I haven't really been keeping my promise, but I'm trying to go forward with creating more content on YouTube because for the longest time it seemed that Instagram was like the main platform that I would actually create content on and be consistent with. So. I'm really trying to give you guys more content on YouTube and I think this is the perfect time because look, I'm going to just get right to the point. My Instagram account got disabled right before I almost hit 25k. So I'm a little bit bitter about it and I know a lot of you guys probably noticed that I was like big bank one day and at Instagram or the next day. So I thought it was appropriate to update you guys and let you know what happened. So I'm going to give you guys a story in just a second but before we get started. I still want to let you know that I'm still partnered with EVL Nutrition, the best supplement brand. I've been using them now for about a year um, from multivitamins, BCAAs, pre-workout, protein. Right now I'm actually drinking their chocolate protein. Um, I like the chocolate. I usually prefer vanilla, but this brand right here, I like their chocolate a lot. So if you guys are serious about your fitness and you are looking for a new supplement brand, Go ahead and shop at evlnutrition.com. You can use my promo code at checkout. My promo code is bank20evl. That's B-A-N-K-2-0 E-V-L. All one word. And you can use that at checkout for 20% off. I'll put the description um, or the information in the description below. So that way you guys, when you're ready to get your supplements, don't hesitate to ask me questions to see what product it is that you're looking for, what's best for you and your goals. Um, I'm pretty helpful. I try to respond to everybody when it comes to fitness and questions about fitness. So, yeah. Um, anyways, you guys, I really wanted to update you because my primary business account, most of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel, you probably know me from Instagram. Um, it was at big.bank. I've had that account for years, but I've only really been active on it for about the last four months. So, my account recently got deleted at 25k and um it was oh excuse me it was growing pretty quickly you know what i'm saying my following was going up like at a nice pace and i was getting discovered by people who i looked up to i was starting to collaborate with brands that i had been looking up to for years and unfortunately the other day as i was born in my flight it just got disabled out of nowhere and um you know i was a little bitter about it i'm not gonna lie i got discouraged because it took so, you know, it took a lot of effort to build it up. I think people really don't understand how much work goes into creating content. Like, often people frown upon like influencers and bloggers and YouTubers, but it really is a hustle. Like, it's a job, honestly. And I already worked a full time job. So, on top of that, I was trying to create quality content and be consistent, motivate people, and also just network too. So, um, a lot of doors were opening. And a lot of good things came from that page. Unfortunately, it was disabled. So if you're watching this, I didn't block you. I didn't unfriend you. I mean, I found out like everybody else that my account was disabled. So uh, what happened was I went on vacation February 13th and I'm not gonna lie, I have a habit of uninstalling the app and then installing it again. And the reason why I do that is because I tend to get distracted probably like most of you guys. So. I can be on Instagram for 10 minutes and 10 minutes will lead into an hour, one hour will lead into two hours. Before you know it, my whole day or a lot of my day is spent on Instagram. So I'm a very disciplined person. I think you guys have seen that by now. So I tend to uninstall the app and install it again. This one day as I was boarding my flight, it was what, February 13th, I was going to Mexico. I was looking forward to creating content for you guys because it was a new scenery. So it wasn't like I'm at home or I'm not at the gym. For once, I can like work out by the pool or by the beach. And I was really looking forward to that. But as I was uh, boarding my flight, I tried to log into Instagram. I, I installed the app again and tried to log into Instagram. And I got an error message and it was asking me to verify my phone number. So I didn't think nothing of it. I put my phone number in and then it said that, uh, I got this message saying that it was gonna verify my account and I should hear it from them within 24 hours. So. I, I really just assumed that it wouldn't take a full 24 hours. I thought it was just something simple, but um, nah, it really took 24 hours. So 
I'm boarding my flight. The whole time, I'm kind of freaking out because I'm like, damn, you know, like I had bookings coming up. It was my first booking that I was really looking forward to. Um, I had business relationships that I had just created and I and I didn't want to leave people hanging. So it was a big deal for me because I don't really use social media to just be like posting a bunch of nothing. I really had been trying to use it to be a little more business savvy and just try to have more doors um, open based off of my skills and stuff, you know, just more exposure. And also the main reason why I had social media in the first place was to motivate people. So, you know, there's a lot of variables, but I was just, you know, you know starting to worry a little bit. That whole day, lucky for me, I was on vacation, so I was able to kind of distract myself, but I was still like a little concerned because it just kept giving me this uh, error message. The next day, I tried to log in again and I got a different message and it said that my account had been disabled for uh, violating terms and conditions. And I'm like, you know, like I post motivational content, everything I post is my own original work. I don't use music because I don't want to get flagged for copyright. So I was just kind of like confused, you know, but what terms and conditions have I violated? And then there was a link that said, um, click here to learn more. So I clicked there and it said that my account was disabled for pretending to be someone else or impersonating someone else. And which is crazy to me because, you know, I have YouTube videos linked to my Instagram. It takes a, a minute or two to just confirm my identity. So I didn't really understand that. Um, but a lot of people were using my pictures on social media, you know, so I just assumed that Somebody probably reported me and said that I was using someone else's pictures, which is crazy. But yeah, so I said I was pretending to be someone else and I just filled out the appeal form. I never heard nothing back. So days were going past and I just kept filling out this appeal form. And in the meantime, I was also searching YouTube videos for people who like had gone through similar situations and going through blogs. And then this is when I really started to worry because I realized that um, Instagram is really not helpful. Like they don't really have a help. They have a help center, but it's just a bunch of links and automated, you know, like forms. They don't really have like a check, a, you know, like a representative that can help you or like a. How can I say? They don't really have a department dedicated to like accounts and troubleshooting. They don't. Everything is just forms and links and automated and bots. So it's like hopefully you have luck, but nine times out of 10, you really won't. So I started to get a little concerned because I was looking at YouTube videos of people who had lost their entire business account for pretending to be someone else when the whole time, you know, you're obviously you. Like I have, excuse me, how, how can I fake this video right now if I'm not me? You get what I'm saying? Like how can I say that I'm this person or you guys get what I'm trying to say? Like I'm creating an entire video, so how do I pretend to be me? I'm definitely me. Um, but they were really unhelpful, unfortunately. And I just started to kind of like lose hope. And in the beginning, I was getting discouraged. So I just was like, you know, I can't make another page just to like, at any moment, have it disabled again. Like it's just a slap in the face. Cause if you guys see what I see on Instagram, there are people who post like sexual content and are stealing songs. So how, you know, like if you're gonna report a page, report a page for like a valid reason, I'm obviously, me so i just thought it was bogus i didn't really want to create another page at first because i just was like no i'll never build a page again just for them to be able to uh, disable my account like what if i get 50k next time and they just disable me out of nowhere and i can't get any help for it so i don't know i was on the fence about it at first but the more i thought about it the more i realized that before i started to monetize and, and grow popular on instagram my main goal was always to motivate people and that's something that's really important to me to encourage people to share my story so people can see like, wow, this really can be done. Like, you know, so that that's always been important to me. So it's three weeks later now. Unfortunately, I still did not get my page and I'm not going to say I'm mad about it. I think I'm kind of like getting over it. It is what it is. I mean, I have no control of it. I feel like I've been persistent trying to get it back. Unfortunately, Instagram has not been very helpful. So I think I'm gonna just for now charge it to the game. You know, it is what it is. And I probably one day will wake up and get access to the page. 
But one thing I've been realizing is that people don't get access until like months later sometimes, eight months, nine months later. So by then, I mean, I can grow my new account. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like, is it worth it to even accept it back nine months later when I am being proactive on a new account? So with that being said, I just wanted to update you guys. I didn't leave you guys hanging. I didn't delete my account. I didn't block anyone. It was disabled, unfortunately. So I'm going to move forward with a new account. You can follow me at Big Bank Fitness. And also, I decided to make a Twitter as well. Sorry, my phone is blowing up. All right. So I, I decided to make a Twitter as well. So I think I'm going to be on a Instagram, Twitter, TikTok too. I'm thinking about TikTok because they had reached out to me before my account got deleted. So I might be able to entertain you guys on TikTok. So follow my new Instagram if you haven't already. It's at Big Bank Fitness, all one word. You can follow me on Twitter as well, the same handle. And again, I'm sorry for any inconvenience, any business deals that I kind of like left hanging. It really, it really was outside of my hands. And also before I let you go, there were several people who reached out to me via email when my account was disabled. And I really just want to thank you guys for just continuing to support me because even my page down, so many people reached out. And I'm like, wow, like that really motivated me to just work twice as hard. You know, like I'm not going to be upset about the page being deleted. It sucks, but it is what it is. The show must go on. You know, I obviously I'm making an impact. I'm helping people, motivating people. And that was always goal one from day one. So. I want to thank you guys for constantly supporting me. Follow me across all platforms. And again, if you're looking for a supplement brand, a new supplement brand to try something out, I really recommend EVL Nutrition. Not just because I'm an ambassador now, because I've actually been using them prior to you know being an ambassador, but I really love their product. And on top of that, if you're cheap like me, their product is a really good price. Um, so yeah, check them out. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm sorry again anybody I left hanging on Instagram, but I'm back. I'm ready to work. So you guys, I'm going to be more consistent on YouTube as well. Um, it sucks that I had to come on for this, but I've been trying to commit to being, um, I'm lying. I haven't been trying to commit. The problem is I haven't been trying to commit to being active on YouTube. I'm trying to hold myself accountable going forward. So feel free to let me know if you guys want to, um, hear anything like fitness related, anything when it comes to diet, like I'm taking ideas for videos. I'm trying to get more comfortable in front of the camera. That I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, go follow me on the gram, I'm back.